Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Michelle with 1L here, and in today's video we're going to be unboxing the Face 3 Lux Plus Winter 22 box. So if you're interested, then please keep watching. So a little bit about the uh, Face 3 Lux Plus subscription box. So it's a K-Beauty skincare uh, subscription that's seasonal, so winter, spring, summer, fall. As everyone knows, Michelle loves her skincare. This is one of my favorite uh, just subscriptions, just in general. Um, but specifically, this is probably one of my most favorite just K-Beauty skincare subscriptions um, just on the market out there. Again, they really do an amazing job curating um, every season's box. This subscription is $49.95 per season, so I think they do have an option where you could, um, similar to a lot of other subscription boxes, where you could subscribe every season, so pay every quarter, um, or you could subscribe annually, so pay the whole year uh, up front, and then you might get a little bit of a discount out. Um, but that's how much this subscription box costs. Within the subscription, you do get five to six full-size products plus five to six sheet masks. So without further ado, let's hop into it. All right, so here's the box for this season. Again, this is the Winter 22 box. So the first full-size item in the box is a Kombucha Joel Bio Mist by Alicia Coy. So this looks to be a face mist containing beneficial ingredients to improve skin texture and strengthen skin barrier. Um, so what they actually did a little bit differently this season, so if you watched my previous unboxing uh, for the fall 2021, I'll link it below in case you want to check that box out as well, is that it's usually what they have is like a pamphlet of information, um, but what they did this season, which I think they're probably going to maybe start this season and continue onward, I we'll see in the boxes ahead is they included a just a little card with a QR code where a lot of boxes have been doing this lately just to save um you know I'm imagining to save money on paper and to be a little bit more eco-friendly is they'll include a QR code where you scan the QR code and you go to like the website that has more information on the product so I think that's really cool that um a lot of just subscription boxes are are doing that these days just to, again, just be a little more eco-friendly. So they did, again, uh, just have a little card with, again, the QR code with it. So I did scan it, um, and uh, let's just read a little bit more info about this. So a little bit more about this product. Uh, it says it's a super fine probiotic-packed facial mist to refresh and strengthen your skin. This mist helps improve skin texture and strengthen the skin barrier. Um, so again, it just appears to be like a, a very intense uh, facial mist. So I think this is really cool um, to get. I don't have a lot of facial mists in my skincare routine, so this is a really cool product for me uh, to receive and for them to include in the box. What I would like to just note um, within their new kind of format with re with providing information within the subscription, usually within the pamphlets, um, it, like in, ba in past boxes, they would also include the price as well as how to use the product, which I didn't see on their new format. It looks like they're doing kind of like a more blog, blog-like format. Um, they really just explain um, what the product is. They have the name. They do have some key ingredients, but again, I did not notice, um, again, the price or how um, to use the product, which... Um, we'll see if they include that in future blog posts. They also also didn't include a um, a picture. Um, so obviously they have the name, so you could just kind of match it to the name. Like it definitely was exactly the name on on their their information on the blog. But that's just some things that I kind of noticed that I would like them to implement in the future if they are going to be continuing to do it in this format. So face three year looking at this video and watching this video. Um, that's something I would just like to see in the future, just because I personally find that information really, really helpful. Um, but yeah, so that pretty much, again, just like the first product is, again, a, fa a facial mist. 
So the next uh, full-size item in this season subscription box is the Yada Green Tea Cleansing Balm. So a little bit more about this. It says Yada gives us a renewed formula for their well-loved green tea cleansing balm and it's better than ever. Now certified vegan, this cleansing balm will remove makeup and dirt without stripping or irritating your skin. So I think this is really, really cool to receive. I really have gotten into um, double cleansing. Um, so for anyone unfamiliar with that, so when you're doing your nighttime routine, um, especially when you have makeup, um, when you double cleanse, you usually use just like an oil based or a balm to first break up the makeup and then go in with your normal cleanser, if you will. Um, I actually don't have an actual cleansing balm. I have a lot of like cleansing oils, which I actually really love. Um, it really does break down, um, whether the makeup or just like the dirt throughout the day. And then I'll go in with my normal cleanser, but I actually don't have a cleansing bomb. So I'm actually really excited that they included one of these in the subscription box. I've always wanted to try one uh, type of thing. I always see a bunch of different, you know, makeup gurus and everything. They always use like, have these like really awesome like cleansing bombs to break up the makeup and the dirt before going in with your cleanser. So I'm really actually excited to try this out. Um, and I love green tea. I love green tea and matcha, whether it be the actual taste of it in like drinks or foods or just the actual smell of it. So, um, again, I'm really, really excited to try this one out. The third full-size product that we have in this season's box is the Essen Herb Tea Tree Cleanser. Um, so it says it's a tea tree foam cleanser, pure tea tree. So let's read a little bit more about this. This creamy foam cleanser uses tea tree leaf extract and other skin relieving ingredients to help soothe inflammation and tighten pores. So, um, I think actually, um, this is actually really awesome that they included this as well. Cause as I was mentioning before, um, usually you want to double cleanse. So you usually go in with either a cleansing balm or like a cleansing oil and then go in with just like your normal cleanser, whether it be a foam cleanser, whatever other type of cleanser that you use to just clean off your face. Um, so I actually think it's really, really awesome that they did pair, um, or have both of these in this, this season subscription that you have the double cleanse with the balm and then the normal just cleanser. Um, and they are both, I think they both have either green tea, tea tree, like that type of vibe, uh, going on. So it, I just, I think that's really cool when they curate it like that, where again, the products go together, um, and they all have like the same type of vibe. So I'm actually excited to kind of use these two together, um, for my double cleanse when I do my skincare routine. Um, so I think that's really awesome that they included this as well. So I'm excited to try this as well. And they've also included S and Herb before in past boxes. So, and this is a brand that I, I never really had any issues with. Um, like I think they, I've gotten probably, I think maybe like a skincare, like a moisturizer before from this brand, maybe some other products. Again, I, it gets little <laughs> hazy when it comes to like, well, which box got me which and which products did I get? But I've I, basically, I have gotten this brand before and I've had no issues with it. So excited to use this product as well. So the next um, full size product is the, I hopefully I won't butcher the name, but it's the Ariel Daily Pick Peeling Pads. Um, so these are um, infused with salicylic acid and evening primrose. These peeling pads provide the skin with gentle exfoliation, cleansing the pores and controlling sebum production. Um, so again, these look to just be, again, just peeling pads that you um, use as part of your probably night. I would probably use this for my nighttime skincare routine. But again, these are also cool to receive. I actually really do like when I receive just skincare pads, peeling pads, or toner pads um, type of thing. They're re just really easy to use. You just take one, use it, and then that's it. Um, but yeah, excited to use this. So that was the last um, full, full-size product. Um, as I'm sure you guys saw, like we only ha got four products um, this season. As I mentioned in the beginning, they usually include five to six full-size products. Um, again, I'll insert maybe a screenshot or something, and they do have that on their website where they do advertise that the seasonal subscription box does include five to six full-size products and five to six sheet masks. So I don't know 
where... Cause actually, when I did open the box at first, I was like, oh, did they forget a product? Like, we usually get f at least five, um, right? But even looking on their blog post or the information for this season, it, they do only list four full-size products. So, again, I'm not really sure why this season um, they only included four. So just as a disclaimer again, at least for the Winter 22 box, again, we only received four products. So again, not really sure. That's a little bit of a bummer, again, since they do say that you get five to six products um, type of thing. So to only get four products, and again, every box before this, I've gotten five pro at least at least five products. So that's a little bit of a bummer. Again, especially since they do disclose you get five to six products. Or again, I don't know if like one of these products has like a super high retail value. So maybe that's kind of the equivalent of like another product. Again, I'm not really sure what happened there. But just um, again, I only got four products. And they again, they only listed four full size products on their blog post for this season. So just a little just a little note there. A little bit of a bummer there. But what are you going to do? But it's OK. <laughs> I'm happy to receive, though, all the other products, too. Again, I'm really excited to try all the other products that they did provide in this season's box. Okay, so as mentioned before, so that wraps up just the full-size products that they did include in this season's uh, subscription box. Um, so now on to the sheet masks that they did include in the season. I won't get too crazy with regards to the sheet masks. Again, for me, like a sheet mask is a sheet mask. They have a bunch of different types just across the market, but with these, I'll kind of show you the sheet masks that I did get a little bit of info, but again, I won't get too crazy with regards to, to these. So first is the Needly Peony jelly mask so this is a soft tensile sheet mask with a balancing ph level for the perfect brightening and illuminating care this mask helps improve the tone and texture of skin soothes the appearance of fine lines and adds a burst of moisture next is the mall dream all-in-one mask so this is a sheet mask that helps minimize redness and strengthen the skin barrier leave your skin feeling ultra smooth and soothed all right, next is the Sweet Teen Tart Cherry Sika Calming Mask. So a sheet mask to help minimize redness and strengthen the skin barrier. All right, fourth mask is the Purin Skin Green Tea Wash Off Mask. Uh, so this is a soothing mask that helps rebalance skin. Great for revitaling and brightening. This one also too, the, the Purin Skin one. Um, it looks like you also do a little mixture situation, like they have a little spatula or like the wooden stick here. It looks like you mix the green tea with the essence, like mix it up with the, the little wooden spatula, the stick, and then put it on your face. So this one looks a little, just a little different, a little cool. So excited to try this one as well. Last but not least, so this is the last mask. So this is the Apo Soothing Mask. So... Pretty self-explanatory here. A soothing mask designed to calm and soothe irritated skin, minimizing redness and adding a refreshed feeling. All right, guys, that's everything we got in the Face 3 Luxe Plus Winter 22 box this season. Um, I'd probably have to say the product that I'm most excited to try is probably, if you couldn't tell from before, is probably the, the Green Tea Pure Cleansing Balm by Yada. Um, just because, again, I don't have a cleansing balm, and I've always wanted to try one and implement that into my skincare routine. Uh, but I'd probably say this is probably the product that I'm most excited to try. Yeah, I think I also noticed too, I feel like a lot of the products were like green tea, tea tree themed. Again, I'm not mad about that just because I love green tea and tea tree and all of all of the teas uh, type of thing. So, but I did see a little bit of a, a theme there with the products this season, but I'm not mad about it. In general, um, I thought this was, uh, you know, it's it was still a good box. Still a little bit of a bummer that uh, we only got four full-size products this season compared to the five to six full-size products that they do advertise and guarantee every season on their website and everything. Like again, every box since I've been subscribed to Phase 3, we've always gotten at least five full-size products. So again, a little bit of a bummer there. Um, but, you know, hopefully we'll see in the next season, again, if they go back to, like, the five to six, um, products, or again, who, I know, like, this, um, past season, especially during the winter with COVID and everything going on, I don't know, too, if there were any, um, like, disruption when it came to, um, 
products being get to them and being able to put them in the box. I know some other just subscription boxing have subscription boxes have been having that that issue. Um, just with like the supply chain issues that have been going on. But long story short, not really sure what happened there. But again, we only did receive four full size products there. Um, otherwise, again, super excited to also just try the sheet masks. Again, Michelle loves her sheet masks, so super excited to try the sheet masks. Um, and again, hopefully we'll see in the future, again, if they start to implement a little bit more of the items that, or information rather, that they included in their pamphlets that they usually include to their blog post now, that format that they're trying to maybe implement now on a go-forward basis with like the QR code and then getting the information there. Um, but we'll see in the next season and, you know, what comes out in the, like, what, what season are we in? Winter? Spring? So in the Spring 22 um, box, we'll kind of see if they make any updates or changes there. All right, so that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this video and watching me unbox the uh, Phase 3 Lux Plus Winter 22 uh, subscription box this season. I had a lot of fun filming it for you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel so you can be notified whenever I make a video and post a video. To all my Filipinos out there, maraming maraming salamat po. Thank you everyone so much for watching my videos and supporting my channel. And until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.